grew up on a farm in Canada. Did, did you have to help out with the chores? Were you that? I did, yes. I was uh, one of the farmhands. So I grew up driving tractors and fixing farm machinery and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> fun, right? Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so, fellas, you own the farm, and that's, that's the farmer's daughter. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? Yes, and I have three sisters. You have three sisters? I do. And, okay, now you went from driving tractors to stock cars. How did yes. you get into that? Well, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, um, you know, I had my, f had definitely my first experience with a vehicle putting in the ditch was, was in a 110 loader tractor. So I thought I can handle stock cars. Um, I was lucky enough to just be asked, to, you know, the T Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, they had a pro celebrity race. Um, they've actually had it. They just had their last one, I think a year ago, after 40 years. So I got asked to do it. And it benefited uh, racing for kids. And you train for it. And, and I also did one at Irwindale Speedway, a stock, uh, like a half mile oval, benefiting Wounded, wounded Warrior Project. Um, and it's, it's a lot of fun, it's addictive. It's, um, you just, you know, you're hurtling yourself around the track and, and you get very competitive, mind you, you know, in your training. And... I've, I've been in a stock car before. It, it wasn't addictive to me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, I, he was going so fast. My little suit that, I had a fire retardant suit on, but mine really needed to hold moisture. 